Hi YouTube, Fuzz here and I hope you're in the mood for some gear hype because in today's video I'm going to be showing you a pretty good strategy for grabbing the Gendarm Shield which is the game's ultimate shield, brand new to the Zodiac Age. It's very powerful, you're going to want it, you can even get a few of them if you want to. But like the Sighton Grat, it's dependent on RNG with a very low chance of actually getting the item. But as you know in this game you can manipulate the RNG and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I hope you enjoy watching and if this helps you please don't forget to hit the like button, be subscribed to the gaming channel and let's get on with today's episode. Okay so Gendarm is a fantastic shield as I've just said so you are going to want to get it. And here's how you can manipulate the RNG uh, to do so. First of all, you're going to want to choose a character that without a weapon and shield can hit themselves for zero damage. I've chosen Varn in my case, so just to have a look at that. Uh, you can see that he's unarmed and has no shield. And also make sure that you have the Diamond Armlet equipped as well. Very, very important since Gendarm is a special Zodiac Age uh, item. And as with all of those, you do need the Diamond Armlet. If you don't have that, you can grab it from the first trial stage in trial mode, just from a chest. Okay, and we'll just test that we are going to do zero damage when we attack ourselves with the attack command. Ha! Yes, the reason why you can't use a shield is because the game does need to register that you do zero damage. And if you get a block, then that's going to mess things up. So once you're set up, you want to save your game. Uh, I don't need to save because I've just saved. Uh, but then you want to... Save your game and make your way back to the PlayStation menu. By quitting the game completely, you will reset the RNG in a similar way as when you do so with uh, collecting the sight and grat. Then we're going to load the game back up, of course, and just load up that save. I believe there is a Rex method you can use to uh, get the chest to spawn instantly, but I don't really bother because I think it's got a 10% spawn chance, the chest, so it doesn't take long of just running in and out to get that to show up. Whereas with Sight and Grat, you need it because it's only got a 1% spawn chance and you have to run around the airship in order to see it because it's an invisible chest. This one isn't. But I might do a video if there's a demand for it. In the future but for now I'm just going to show you the way I use to grab this shield okay so from here oh, let's forget which way it is uh, it's the central path that's it so it's where Ultima was where you fought the Esper where you looted Excalibur from so it's not the path that's by itself it's the path that's in between the two other paths you'll know if you've gone down the wrong path because you'll be hit with enemies right so all you gotta do now is look for the chest it's just a case of running backwards and forwards. In and out of the area to the area where you fought Ultima. Do it on high speed, of course. And the chest has got, I think, a 10% chance of spawning. So it can take a few minutes. But it's really not that bad. And you can get lucky and get it quite quickly. Let's try again. Right, so, the chest has spawned, and what we're going to do at this point, I've made Varn the only active party member, we've got Red Ass, but he makes no difference, is we're going to attack, and we're going to attack Varn, and we're going to attack him ten times, so when he's queuing up, do it again, so that's number one, Yeah. that's number two, ha. that's number three, yeah. Number four. It's about to hit number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. This can sometimes be a combo on nine. Yeah. Right. Number nine. And then number ten. And now we're going to loot a meteorite, actually. There we go, but what we're going to do now is exit this area once we've looted our meteorite. And we're going to come straight back in. And the chest should be there. Again. There it is again. And there we have it, the Gendarm. Wonderful. So the annoying bit with this is having to run in and out to get the chest to spawn the first time. But once you've done that, you can manipulate the RNG to grab your Gendarm shield. So again, 
Once the chest spawns the first time, hit yourself 10 times, doing zero damage at a time. Uh, your combo, you should combo on the ninth attack, then one more after that. Uh, then you'll be able to loot the meteorite, exit, come back in, and the chest should be there straight away again where you can loot your Gendar. Some people I've seen in forums have said that the chest wasn't there the second time after looting the meteorite, but they said that um, they went out of the area a couple of times and it was there again. Uh, occasionally also, after the meteorite, you could get gill. That's unlucky, but if you do, again, just enter a couple of times until the chest should be back again for you to loot your... Uh, again, darn. But most of the time, it's there straight away once you've got the meteorite. So I'm just going to show you before we finish off the power of this shield. You're going to like this. So if we go to offhand here, and we can have a look at some of my other powerful shields. You know, the dragon shield's pretty good. The Aegis shield and the demon shield are both very good. You know, 13 evade, 50 evade. Yeah, look at. Let's look again, darn. Try 90 evade and 90 magic evade, and absorb every single element. You see why you want to get this shield? Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go then, folks. I hope this has helped you. Please don't forget to support me by hitting the like button if it has. And come back soon for more Zodiac Age fun. Cheers all. Take care.